study out today is adding to the debate about drinking alcohol and breast cancer. Here to explain, Dr. Rebecca Viatric, who is a surgical oncologist with St. David's North Austin Medical Center. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So the link between alcohol and breast cancer, mm -hmm. it's not new. It goes back some 25 years or so. So then what is it about this study that is new or important? The one thing about this study that's a little different is they've looked at the studies over the last 25 years and kind of combined them together. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to figure out how much alcohol is too much. We know alcohol causes cancer. It can be carcinogenic. Um, it's a matter of how much and how does it directly affect that specific cancer. And I think it's been hard to figure out. I think patients need to understand that cancer isn't caused by just one thing. Mm -hmm. And there's no sure way to prevent it because it is so multifactorial and so much goes into it. So you can't just stop drinking and you're never going to get breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And I think people need to understand that when you see one thing, just making that one change may not affect yeah. them that way. Now when we're talking about the link, are we talking mm -hmm. about people who <clears throat> drink heavily, people who have an occasional glass of wine? Yeah. Where is the line on that? So that's the line they were trying to figure out. And if you look at what the CDC recommends and what the American Cancer Society recommends, they say if you don't drink, don't start. There's, mm -hmm. there's recommendations to not start drinking. But they actually say no more than one drink a day, which some of us as doctors would say is actually heavy. Too much. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So people watching this, though, will say, hey, I, you know, I was watching the news yesterday, day before, whenever, and you know, another study said, hey, a glass of red wine a day is good for the heart. Right. How, how do we know which way to go on this? Or I guess, it, what's your professional opinion on it? You know, it, there is a lot of conflicting data, and it depends. If you look at the number one killer of women, it's heart disease. Mm -hmm. um, I think there are a lot of great ways to prevent heart disease that don't go along with drinking alcohol. Because mm -hmm. um, most of the studies <laughs> say that the, the red wine or whatever helps with heart it's, disease. It's the red wine and it's the grape and some of it is blood. There are things that are in it that may help prevent it. So they're looking at women who drank and they said they had less heart disease. However, exercise, diet, a good heart healthy diet, all of that is way better at preventing heart disease. So I'm, I'm, I wouldn't recommend drinking to prevent heart disease. And maybe you, you might have just answered it there, but mm -hmm. if somebody is watching this and maybe they have a history of breast cancer mm -hmm. in their family, what are things they should be doing now to try to protect themselves? So there, there are actually quite a few things. Um, the number one is early detection and prevention. So don't miss your mammograms. You have a family history. Don't be scared to do it. Breast cancer is very treatable when we catch it early. Mm -hmm. So you want to catch it early and you don't want to miss, miss those appointments with your doctor. Or if you have a really strong family history, show up earlier, bring it up with your doctor if they don't, make sure they know. Um, there are, we have some risk clinics that you can even go to. I work at Texas Oncology. We have um, high risk clinics that you can go to and we can actually tell you if you should be followed in a high, high risk way. The other big important thing is um, when you're looking at what really helps prevent it, fat cells make estrogen mm -hmm. and most ca breast cancers are estrogen driven. So actually a healthy diet and exercise. They say four hours a week is probably really good for you. In prevention. Very good. So stay on top of it. Dr. Yeah. Rebecca Viatric, thank you so much. Thank you.